With the second season of ReZero, Starting Life in Another World, coming to a close, Good Smile Company has recently started shipping out the latest Nendoroid from the series. So stay tuned, because today we're going to take a look at all the different accessories included with the Nendoroid of the Witch of Greed, Echidna. Let's unbox! Nendroid Echidna comes in a standard Nendroid box that is primarily black and white in color, just like her outfit. You'll also notice the Nendroid 15th anniversary logo on the front of the box. Opening up the box, we have the blister packaging in a manual. Be sure to take a look at that. Let's get a close-up look at Nendroid Echidna herself. Echidna's form-fitting dress has been faithfully recreated in Nendoroid form with the fine white stripe patterns being captured in detail. The sculpting of Echidna's long flowing hair is another highlight along with her characteristic butterfly wing hair ornament. Echidna comes with two additional faceplates, making for three faceplates in total. These faceplates can be swapped in by removing the front hair part of the figure and popping out the faceplate. The Nendroid comes with the chair seen in her Castle of Dreams, recreated in a smaller Nendroid style. Of course, an alternate lower body part to display Echidna sitting in her chair is included too. She comes with a few other optional parts like her teacup and saucer. These can be placed in her hands to pose Echidna holding them, but they can also be displayed independently. She also comes with a book and a hand part for holding it along with a few additional hand parts for recreating certain poses from the series. Flipping over the blister, we can find a few more parts in a bag taped to the underside. The Nenroid's base, support arm, and a spare neck joint. Let's use all these parts to make a couple poses now. First, I'm going to pose her sitting in her chair with her cup of if you want to call it that. The first thing I'll do is switch out our lower body part for the alternate sitting part. I'm also going to take the head off for the next few steps because it just makes things a bit easier. After that, rather than attaching the chair to the body directly, I'm going to take the peg out of the chair and attach it to Echidna's back. Once that's done, I can attach the body to the chair like this. After that, I need to switch out her forearm parts with the alternate parts holding her teacup and saucer. Once I've attached each arm, all I need to do is adjust the angle of each arm part and reattach the head part. By the way, these bent arm parts aren't just for her teacup and saucer. You can place other hand parts on these to create poses like this. Those are just a couple of the different poses you can make with a Nendroid, but really your imagination is the limit when it comes to posing Nendroids. Enjoy recreating scenes from the series and creating original situations all your own too. And if you take pictures, be sure to show us on social media. We'd love to see them. Nendroid Echidna started shipping out from the 18th of March 2021, so if you pre-ordered, you should be receiving your pre-order shortly. Customers who pre-ordered should check with the store they order from for more information on shipping and delivery because it can take a little bit more time to receive your pre-order depending on where you ordered from. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this. And go to leave us a comment down below too to let us know what Nendroid you want us to unbox next.
Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram so you get the latest information on all of our newest figures. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.